Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, um, this is the second video of the flea market. I normally don't find mini bikes at the flea market. That was a rare and special event. Normally for this particular flea market, I'll show you the kind of stuff I find and normally get. Um, I normally find a, a lot of this this kind of stuff. This is a stainless steel rolling table. Very handy for the kind of work we do. I paid um, twenty dollars for that. Um, yeah, you could see somebody used it for paint or whatever, and this will this will come off. So um, there was that. So this was twenty. Once again, from a little distance, you can see it's got casters on it and all. Then I picked this up for five. This has heavy-duty casters, and it rolls real nice and easy. You can see the big bolts they use to, um, to set it on. I don't know if they put 55-gallon drums or something on these and rolled them around. I haven't looked at the cast oh there um these are faultless casters no noting faultless casters those casters are probably at least 25 bucks each so this was well worth five bucks so um i got this there's a kid there kid he's probably as old as my son's on his way to 30. Anyway, he and his mom um, do a lot of scrapping. And as a matter of fact, he's got an old school bus with a handicap lift on an old international. Um, you know, what is that? The DT-466 motor in him, the diesel. Anyway, um, he's using that for scrapping now. And he says it's really nice. He can pull right up to a curb, um, do the wheelchair lift to get stuff in and out. And uh, he, he says it's working well for him. He's down Yonkers way. So anyway, big $25 deal. This and the casters on the platform. Um, this came from my buddies Tom and Sue. It's uh, Loom. Um, I'm still working on the wire harness for the 300 ES. And... Am I, you, you know, you know where the wires go, stupid. Just hook them up and you got a wire harness. That, that might be true, except your wire harness is kind of a spider, right? And if you start at the CDI and put it somewhere around here, then you got one set of wires has to go up to the handlebars, right? Back down to the harness, wire goes off to the starter, wire has to go back to the battery, you know. Then you got the wires here that typically congregate in the headlight. Um, once again, that's kind of where your key switch wire goes to and, and so forth. So I was, um, I was looking at this as a way of kind of building the harness. And I'm going to use the word temporarily until I kind of get all the lengths to where I want them to be. And then, um, and then I... I can get this stuff off and wrap it. So that that was one one thought. There was a, a guy who was cleaning out his garage. These are made by Cooper. Oh no, that's a Hubert Hubart Hubble Hubble. Excuse me, a Hubble. And uh, that's a Hubble also. Strange. I, I thought I looked at Cooper's while I was going through the stuff. And a couple of small clamps. That was three dollars. This was uh, five bucks. Right, and an extender. I bought a few of these, and then I seem to have misplaced them. So I was out for five bucks. I grabbed them. This was two bucks. It's got the shank and the uh, and the wheels. You know, these are good for uh, for going blind with. Make sure you wear. You know, you got your uh, 
your Dremel tool whirling along at 10,000 RPM, right? If they fly apart, you can have trouble. I thought these were a great deal. You guys know they're flappy disks. One, two, three, four, five. There's five of them in here. And they, they look like a brand name. Uh, am I showing you my thumb there? Worth. Um, these are 120 grit. And I'm thinking about um, the cart I got from you, Dizzy, specifically for those. I always grab these. These were a buck. These were two bucks. I picked up another set of these, and they're really good for wiring things. For the diesel generator, right, I wanted a big filter that I can actually see the electric pump pumping fuel through it and all. So these were three for five. This monster, <laughs> once again, for the, uh, for the, um, cart, the off-road go-kart. Um, I'm figuring if I screw that onto my, uh, my right-angle grinder, assuming it doesn't get loose for me and, you know, tear half the skin off my legs, I figure that, that should do a nice job for me. You guys managed to talk me out of sandblasting that, uh, Plus, I want to find sand where it's not meant to uh, to be. Stay away from sand blasters, especially for a project that size. Uh, these screwdrivers, um, they were a buck each. And they might seem trivial, but um, they're really good. I used to work on area monitors at work. For electronics, they're like a really good size. Um really handy. I've, uh, I've had very good luck with them. Um, really good for, for carburetors, believe it or not. Adjusting carburetors, um, especially when you can kind of extend them out a little bit for doing the needle valve on uh, carburetors. So they were a buck each. So generally speaking, when I go to when I go to Stormville, I know that I could get all the stuff on top of the table. This is the kind of stuff I see. If my scrappy buddy is doing a good job and he brings me a few things, like a stainless steel rolling table for 20 bucks, what are you kidding me? And it's strong enough that like, I could put that quad on it or whatever else I need to do. So, um, or the mini bike, right? For rolling it about. So that, that's, that's just a steal. Uh, wheels like this. Um, you, you can't go wrong. Though, uh, I'm really dying to make a, a good size working platform for the upper garage, and I just need to, need to kind of get to that. So, those are all my bargains. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and please, please get out there. Enjoy all your days. Don't let any time get by you. Get out there. Get walking. Get laughing. You know, have fun. Oh, happy Labor Day to all of us who have worked or used to work or, you know, will work. Uh, keep um, Texas in your players, prayers. And I think Louisiana got punched on a little bit, too. Um, Any place else down there. Texas stole most of the headlines and... You know, if you're only scanning headlines like I do, that's what you have a tendency to see. But I think I think a few other states got pounded, so keep them in your thoughts and prayers. And, you know, once again, don't forget our veterans. Take care now, folks. Bye.